Okay, so with hey, today we're having a look at this portable Handicare bidet. According to this, it's possible to use this to fill with water, pull out a tube and then spray on the go. This needs batteries to operate. It's sort of similar to how a I suppose teeth water pick would work in that it has a vessel which is filled with water and then it pumps and it can spray it strong or soft modes. So the first thing to do actually is to note that this doesn't come with a battery. So at the bottom this little plug comes out and two AA batteries need to go in here. Look at the polarity here, it's plus on the right, negative on the left, pop them in the cap back in. Next thing to do is unscrew it. This becomes the reservoir. Water goes in here and then this pops on the top. I'm just going to see whether or not the... oh and the tube pops out here too like this. So this goes underneath. This is a spray nozzle. It can be rotated. Oh, I think. I thought I could have had it going before. Oh. oh, okay, so it rotates. It can't move, but it can be detached, rotated 180 degrees, and then popped back on again. There's a little stopper here that prevents it from swiveling. Okay, so I suppose in the sink I could practice with it spraying down. There's a demonstration. There's nothing in this. It's got an H and L for high and low. Of course I need to fill it first. I will do that and then I will screw it on. The water will, through gravity, flow down, come in through this intake valve and spray out here and I'm assuming that air bubbles will come out these two holes. Let me pause and then go to the sink. Okay, here I am at the sink. I'm going to fill the reservoir bottle. fills up to 140 milliliters. Turn the tap. Screw in the. Oh, whoopsie. Pull that again. Screw in the top part without letting go of the bottom. This time. Make sure it's tight. Rotate it. I've made sure to see the spray here, little nozzle. I've got that facing down so it doesn't spray all over myself. And I'm going to press the H for high button. Let's see what happens. It sprays out. That's high. Press again to stop. Look, you can see me press the buttons and what happens. H. And the air comes out, right? L. Slow. And just press it again to stop. Pretty convenient. Let's see how long it lasts. not very strong, that's for sure. I know when I use one that's actually on the on the loo, I like it to be a bit stronger than this. So it's pretty weak. Maybe for babies it's okay, but I'm not expecting anything amazing. The instructions do mention to evacuate all of the water out through the tube after finishing, so that there's no water left in the fluidics tubes to uh, attract bacteria. Again, just pressing the H button or L button to stop it. You can shake it all out, run it again to get rid of any water. Of course, I haven't used it in the place where it would normally be used. And clean it off if that were the case. Fold it up, packs up, and then can be stored or transported. 